Richard Man's World Team VP. I'm here with Mr. Jonathan Jordan. What's up, brother? What's, what's, hey. Is anything in the glass with the orange juice? Little Remy, Remy, Remy Martin. Look at here, look at here, man. I'm at. <laughs> That's his drink. Yeah. If you want to be my good side, Remy 1738. It'd be my best buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Look here, man. We we've been in this business together for a long time. Did you think you when you started? Did you think you would be where you at right here today? Not even close. Not even close. I mean, I know I'll be doing something, you know, productive. Mm -hmm. But to the level of being productive, no, I had no idea. I was just trying to make some money. And, and I mean, when we came out, that, that's what we all was trying to do. But eventually, we learned the game. Yeah. At, first, at first, it was more of a hustle game. And I learned a big, big difference between hustling and an entrepreneur. Yeah. Fuck being a hustler. Yeah. That's stupid. Mm -hmm. Because every damn day, you got to get up and do something. Like you had a regular 9 to 5. But if you are an entrepreneur, you make passive income. Which means, I wake up in the morning time. And some days I can see five hundred, eight hundred dollars, <laughs> even a grand. Absolutely. <laughs> Just waking up in the morning time. Absolutely. Hustling don't do that shit. Now the work after is called hustling, like right. you say. But when you break it down, entrepreneurship is where it's at. Hustlers get up every day and do the same thing. Entrepreneurs do it one time. Yeah. And here comes the the, the income. Yeah. And like I said, when we started, you know, we started out with the with the mindset of let's make money but now we're at the top of the food chain in the amateur industry we we really are it's everybody's looking up at what we're doing yeah. now to the point where we're not looking down we're looking at other venues other ways to keep making money i want to double down on what i have right now as far as being an entrepreneur so not just talent. What what else, as far as this industry, do you do? Not not just in front of the camera. What else do you do? Anything behind the camera, on the other side? What you do? I'm I'm then the most a uh, lighting expert. <laughs> I mean, uh, videographer, photography, music production, graphics. Uh, shit, recruiter for talent, um, managing talent. <laughs> you name anything in the adult industry, pretty much I cover behind the scenes. You know what I mean. He, he's our go-to guy, guys. I'm going to be serious. Every every day I wake up or every other day, I got an email from from Jonathan Jordan showing us a, a, proper, a, 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 to a to a tutorial or to something on YouTube that'll show you, that'll help you, you know, and I look at all of them. I go through all of them, and it's it's not just the same thing. We, we want to get better. We, we just don't want to stay where we are. So he shows us different videos on different type of lighting. You know, the amateur to the advanced, the normal to the exotic on how you work with colors. If it wasn't for Jonathan, I wouldn't know about uh, graphs, color graphs. You know, he showed me that wheel. I mean, I don't know. I'm, I'm getting a little beside myself. But Jonathan showed me how the wheel works. And once you learn how that wheel works, man, you can you can dibble and dabble in all the color and graphics that that you want. And even I'll go to the part to the point where even if there's a new program that comes out, I'll still check out the program. I'm, I'm, I might not buy it, but somehow, some way, I'm gonna check it out. I, I might even buy it. Not to say that I'm gonna use it, but at least I know it and I understand how it works. Because me and Jonathan was going through one program, uh, Da Vinci. Da Vinci. <laughs> I was so excited about this program, and I was doing different things on it. John said, well, look, Fred, you don't need to do all that. You're going through 10 steps when all you got to do is these three steps over here. And he was 100% correct. But I'm glad that I learned it because it taught me, even though those steps were unnecessary, it taught me what those steps were, you know. So I still know the program. I don't use it. It's there if I need it. 
but it happens. yeah, yeah, <laughs> we but we yeah. know it. So yeah. you have to know. I feel that if you're gonna be at the top, you have to know everything that's coming at you, even these programs. You you have to still know them because you might be working with somebody who's actually working on that program, mm -hmm. and you might have to describe something or explain something to them, and, and they're speaking another language. And sometimes you ain't got to be a master at it. Just know some of the jargon. Just be a little educated. Like, you know what? I don't know all that shit, but I know a little something, and somebody somebody can't put in the wool of your eyes yeah. Yeah. because you know a little something. Hey, that don't, that don't sound right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. you can know a little bit of everything. You ain't got to be a master, but just, know, just be educated. Education is very important, whatever you do. Know everything you can know about your realm, from the top to the bottom. Know, know, know the damn physics behind that shit. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Dig deep. D exactly. Don't just settle, man. Find out what's going on and dig. Now, we're talking about being independent artists and top of the food chain. But Jonathan has worked with a lot of professional companies. Uh, why don't you roll off that list of the people you have worked with? Because I'm known for Bang Bros right now. Um, Black, Brazzers, Reality King. I mean, tell the truth, man, they're all pretty much owned by the same yeah. damn company, yeah. <laughs> Mind Geek. It, yeah, it but is. <laughs> it is. But it is. if you want to be technical, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Um, pretty much every company you can think of. So, so your travels have you on the West Coast, you down in Miami a lot. Um, how did you uh, enjoy the exotic event? You just checked that out a couple of weeks ago in Chicago. How did that go for you? You know, it was fun. It was different because um, normally, you know, the pandemic – a new thing to us yeah. so like how this gonna pan out if people will still be scared to come out or people like you know what fuck it, i've been tired i want to get out i want to explore the world you know spread my wings and a lot of it did come out and yeah. you know spread their wings to come out and they want to see their favorite porn stars and shit you know what i'm saying so it was a good thing so the, the next exotica is that miami, miami. Yeah. what what dates are those you set know, for the I don't really remember. But yeah i'm gonna find out soon though you know what i'm saying i'm gonna get it soon um, we, you mentioned the pandemic, which took place last year within the industry. Let me ask you this. When that pandemic hit, how, <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm, so <laughs> yeah. I'm, so I'm Let me explain. I'm sorry for the people who were sick and hurt. Yes. But financially for me, and anybody out in the adult industry who's a real producer that owned that content, you know what I'm saying. Yes. Your sales skyrocketed. Yes. Everybody's home. Everybody's horny. They home jacking off day and night. Yes. But if you went on people who work for the companies, are, you're fucked. I mean, if they not calling you to shoot any shoots, what you going to do? And the industry, actually, the industry shut down. Yeah. No. But the demand for porn, like you said, it, it went you know, skyrocketed. Right there, it skyrocketed through the roof. No, no one's working. Everybody, everybody I had I had companies contacting me, say, "Hey, bro, you got any content you want to sell us? Want to buy my content? Because they're not producing. Yeah, but they still want fresh and new content. They need material to put in these stores. It's it's no different than a regular business. Absolutely, the stores are empty. Our shelves are empty. We need to stock our shelves. Find content. So I'm gonna go to some independent artists and see what they sell for them to sell yeah. their content. At the end of the day, man, you know, um, owning that content is, is, is the way to go. You know, because one day they will stop calling your ass. You know what I'm saying? And you will get old and crippled. Some of these hot girls, oh, you hot, you sexy, yeah, you only 20, but when you get 40, and you still gonna be the same looking man. Hey. hey. Just because your mama got it, don't mean you going to get it, too. <laughs> you. You've been in this industry for some years. Yeah. What? If there's anything that was a big surprise to you, once you got into the industry, did anything surprise you about the industry, about the way people worked or the talent that was used? Was, this, was you slighted about the type of talent that they use or look for? Um... On the mainstream side, yeah, the mainstream side, absolutely. I probably should. I probably shouldn't say this shit. I'm gonna say it though. I'm independent. I can say what the fuck I want to say. So, um, a lot of you motherfuckers who y'all think is like big balling and shit, they're really broke as fuck. They really are. 
I mean, they're like, like, like rappers and shit. A lot of rappers are broke as fuck. A lot of one hit wonders. Same thing with a lot of uh, performers as well. They're, they're really broke. They do a lot of this shit on the side yeah. <laughs> that I would never do. Yeah. Those, those, <laughs> well, we just talked about the exotica, the aliens. <laughs> they really rely on that because it's a another maybe another stream of income for them. Yeah. They can do autographs or you know they can meet some people. They can go sell some DVDs. Yeah. So that's big for them. Yeah. Things like that. Yeah. And and I agree too, man. When I found out that some of these cats had nothing it really surprised me i'm talking about cats that are legends yeah. in the game and that's that's male and females they can't buy no it, it, it amazed it amazed me i actually live off my videos yes like my videos is how i support myself it's how i bought my house you know buy my cars and shit you know whatever i have on me and shit is from the video content okay if they can pay me Damn, the eight hundred, nine hundred dollars scene. Um, pay the female mm. anywhere from twelve right. to damn the fifteen hundred. Right. Put five hundred dollars for the place. Directed it. We talking about almost four grand for the day. So they could pay that. Mm -hmm. How much are they How making? Much are they grossing? Yeah. Off of that one. Grossing and scene. netting. Yes. And netting, netting. Absolutely. Yeah, so the net, the net gross, the net. Is what if you saying. look at that. And yeah. if you figure out the 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 theory behind it, then you should be able to be the one who benefits from owning your own footage. You know, I tell a lot of people, man, like anybody can make it in a way. Okay, you just gotta find your niche. Absolutely. Listen, it. it, it a lot of people don't like me sometimes because I say a lot. I say, I say the truth. Absolutely. Yeah, and the truth hurts. Yeah. The it truth hurts like a motherfucker, okay? It does. You're not going to make it how I made it. Right. They're not going to make it how you make it. Exactly. They're not going to make it how, how Richard Mann made it. And, and the truth be told, we have different theories. We have different philosophies. Like he just said, I don't make it the way he makes it. He doesn't wake it, make it the way that I make it. That's why we work so good together because his, yep. his fan base is over here. His support is over here. And mine is over here. Yep. So we do the same thing content but we have our own separate basis different customers yeah different customers yeah. some like some like pizza some like steak exactly you know but they both sell and they both are become multi-millionaires you know what i'm saying find your niche find your way okay um shit just because you're a big girl hmm. don't mean right. you can't make a million dollars from this shit Absolutely. straight up just because you skinny and fine and the hottest thing out there. It don't mean that you are going to make it. You won't make shit. <laughs> There's a big girl right now, about 200 some pounds, 300 pounds, that will make more money than you. Absolutely. Off of video content because she knows what to do. Absolutely. Your skinny ass don't know what to do. Think you're going to make it on looks alone. It it, looks, it, you, it's more than looks. Again, it, it again really you got to have. Looks is half of it. I tell you. Looks yes, is half. It, it okay. is. It's half. But it'll get you a long way. You, you gotta have it on the inside. You gotta have a work ethic. Yeah. You know, you, you do. And like he said, hustling and entrepreneurship. It, that that's what it is. You have to own your shit. You have to push it. You have to market it. You have to advertise. That's those are two different things. Marketing and advertising, two different things. You gotta understand the business aspect of it, you know? And if you just think you're going to go out here and make a hot fuck video and just go ahead and post it and it's going to make, you're going to do the Kim Kardashian, that's that one in a million. Yeah. It ain't going to happen. Some, some will happen, now. Some will happen, but yeah. shit, man. Yeah. Don't, 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 let me think about that lottery. Yeah. How many people spend thousands of dollars on the lottery and don't win shit? Yeah, it ain't going to happen. You know what I'm saying? I tell, I tell a lot of guys, you know, you got a better chance of going to NFL or the NBA than doing this shit. Straight up. Really. Because you got to be a sexual athlete not just an athlete but a sexual athlete you got to be in good shape as an athlete you know you you athlete yes, sir. nuts you already know yep. you got to be mentally strong absolutely when, you, when your body's down and broken down what's you left still, you still you still gotta come you, you still gotta come you still gotta be mentally prepared. your mind gotta your be there together. and there's yeah. nobody coach your ass how to do this shit mm -hmm. you gotta fix it on, your, on the fly real quick because one bad shoot you done 
<laughs> very physically fit. But his mind, every time he shoots or I shoot with him, he bombs. And I'm just looking at him like, hey, 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 your mind is not there. You, you're thinking about some other shit that you shouldn't be thinking about. Yeah, physically gifted, he's there. But this guy, is, it's just mentally, he's not in the game. And I'm telling you, you could bring all the gifts you have physically. But if your mind is not set to do this, this right here, it's going to be over real fast. I'm going to take two more things. Go ahead. I don't do this shit for the pussy. I'll be honest. Before I got in the adult industry, I dated a Playboy model. Okay? I dated a girl that was in Lil Wayne, T.I. videos, and Lil, uh, uh, T-Pain videos before I even did this shit, okay? So bad bitches ain't nothing new to me, <laughs> okay? You know that shit, you know? I got in this shit for financial freedom. That means I can get up and do whatever I want to do when I want to do it. You can make money to be a damn dentist, a lawyer, a doctor, work at McDonald's, shit, whatever. But do you have the freedom to wake up when you want to wake up? You could take a ho- literally. I took off for like two months. Mm-hmm. Y'all would never know. Mm-hmm. I got so much shit out there. But, but it's still the content is still being pushed. Yeah. You still advertising. Yeah. Still marketing. Yeah. But I'm gone. Yeah. I'm somewhere else. I went on vacation for two months. Mm-hmm. Y'all didn't even know. I that yeah. on vacation. Yeah. That's the type of shit you could do in the adult industry, mm-hmm. if you own your content. You gotta own that shit. If somebody keep on your check, cut a check. Cut a check. You a goddamn dummy, cause that check gonna run out. You know what I'm saying? All that content, learn how to be a producer, learn that camera, learn how to edit. Da 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 da. I'm getting some real juice right now. I should, I should be charging the ass for this shit. Right. You, got, you got a roundhouse. You, you gotta have control over your content from start to finish, which means your talent or you work with the talent. Then you take it to the editing board and you edit it. You know, you gotta overlook it. You gotta make sure it's good. That's your production part. Okay. And now you got to take that, you got to package it up, you got to advertise it, and you got to market it. What's your budget? What's your overhead? What are you going to do? You got to think of all these things, and you got you to gotta hit a home run on all of them so you can have a profit. No one else is in it but you. No one else's hand. So you control it from the beginning to the end. I'm Everywhere I can make a profit, I want to make that profit. So, if you don't, if you're not doing it that way in the industry, you need to start. I, I'm gonna tell one thing. Um, and this is probably for, more for guys, girls too, but a lot of guys say, "Yeah, I'm gonna get the business. I'm gonna get the business." Okay, why? To make money. Okay, if you really want to make money, hold a fucking camera. Don't fuck. If you want to make money, you hold a camera. If you want to fuck, you ain't making shit. Okay, I'll be honest with you. I do both. That's why I get by, okay? But if you just want to fuck, 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 and be honest with yourself, yes. do I look like yes. <laughs> the kind of people that somebody want to look at in the mirror? Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Listen, if you ain't got no decent looking body, no, hey, don't, don't, yeah, don't if, if, if you got a big old gut and that's just hanging over your dick, bro, I'm just saying, you know, don't do it, man. You know what I'm saying? Hold a camera. Hold a camera. Hold a camera. That's all it is. You'll make more money holding a camera then you were performing, straight up. 100%. So if you really about it, hold a camera. If not, I'm gonna look at you. As, you bullshit. <laughs> Sorry. Call me an asshole. I am what I am. I, Y'all want the truth? <laughs> Every man's falling asleep on us. I, he won't <laughs> leave. He's been doing that for the longest. <laughs> but <laughs> he's been doing that, <laughs> bro. I we know about Jonathan Jordan Triple X. But tell us about the BBC Titans. What's going on right here, bud? What you got? What you got going on? Um, I found out that uh, game bands are very popular. <laughs> and um, a lot of white boys seem to monopolize that shit. Or yeah. I'm going to do it too. Yeah. So I did it. And um, it's very, very good for us. Yeah. Um, always looking for new female talent. New male talent too. I'll give you a shot, guys. This is your time to shine. If you fuck up, you fuck up. Hey. You get one chance, you get one chance, you know. Now, this is out right now. This site is, is, is yes. available now? Yes. Okay. Yes, okay. That's the BBC Titans. BBC Titans. Go check this out. It's the hottest game thing out there on the internet. We are the number one game bank team in the world, hands down. Mm-hmm. It's not my words. 
it's the people words. The people said it. I'm never going to claim me as being the best unless y'all say it. Okay? Y'all said it. I ain't say shit. Y'all said it. It is what it is. Hey, it's, it's a lot of number ones. Yeah, 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 yeah. I get to keep on saying it. It become number one, right? And y'all gotta but check this. I ain't say it, though. They said it. Check this out. Y'all just did some shoots out in, again, out in Chicago yes. with some new channels. Yes. Who did y'all work with in Chicago? Cat uh, Black and Christy Love. Okay, okay. Um, Christy Love's amazing. I mean, she she scored at 12 feet. Heard. 12 down feet. So it projected 12 feet. Um, Cat Black is amazing. We fucked us up so hard, we pulled her hair out. We actually pulled a whole, we pulled a chunk of her hair out. I don't know the wig. <laughs> I think it might have been something else. Yeah, Woo. yeah. I was the scout. <laughs> yeah. Well, we looking forward to that, man. I hope, I hope people watch it, tune in. Be on Wayne TV. Wayne TV. I got more sites coming out. Believe it or not, I'm a black man doing an all white white site. Yeah. <laughs> Stay tuned. I don't discriminate. Yeah, exactly. I Stay make tuned. money. Yeah, it's, exactly. all about, it's, all it's all about my money. All about so I'm hiring white male talents and white female talents. All about bread. <laughs> I pay good too. Yeah. All right. All about the um and um what else I got going on? I got a new site called SuckMyDick.life. It's all about blowjobs. Uh, Miss Laura Sky is, is coming as a feature as well. Miss Laura Sky. Laura's gonna be in the seat right after this. Yes, yes. Um, so if you like blowjobs, somebody that life. Um, Coachy dot com. Um, I, I, got, I, got, I got I got a BDSM site coming as well. It's in the works. See, but this is what we mean when we talk about entrepreneurship. I'm not hustling. I'm making Stay businesses. Here. I'm making a business. Stay here. I'm not hustling. Hustling is the same shit over and over again. And that's called what? Every day. What's that called again? It's called insanity. That's stupidity. Insanity. I, I think. Yeah, I think. Insanity. Yeah. insanity. The, the difference yeah. is insanity. You're trying to insane shit over and over again, expecting a different Every result. Day. Every day. There's no different result by hustling. That's insanity. Okay. So I'm a hustler. I'm a hustler. Stop that shit. Okay. Don't let them fuck your head up. <laughs> think for yourself. Free thinker. Yeah. All right, well, man. Well, Mr. Mr. Jordan, number love for you, man. This is my brother. Been my brother for a long time, yes, man. We are gonna keep rocking. We are gonna keep rolling. Number love, y'all. Check him out. Jonathan Jordan, triple X.com, BBC Titans.com, and all those new sites that he has coming up. Peace and love. Go, 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 let's go to Dizzle Mountain.